Hey, welcome everybody. It's KB here and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how you can fix this error. This PC can't run Windows 11. So, you know, Windows 11 is coming very soon and uh, there is the application called PC Health Check. Uh, and using this, you can check whether your PC can run Windows 11 or not. So you can see here, uh, this says uh, this PC can't run Windows 11. And it also gives you the information what is missing. So TPM 2.0 is a requirement for running Windows 11. So that thing is missing or either turned off from the BIOS. So I know this PC is new my cpu is compatible with windows 11 my gpu and everything is okay but the tpm 2.0 is disabled because it's new pc and uh, yeah it can sure run windows 11 so simply we need to turn on the tpm 2.0 from the bios which we will do it don't worry i'll show you how to turn the TPM 2.0 from the BIOS. Uh, but first, uh, let me give you more information, okay? So just in case, uh, maybe some of you guys still don't know how to get this application. I will put link in the description for this website here. You will be introduced to the Windows 11. It will also give you the system requirements for the Windows 11. So if you have all of these, you're okay. So now the for the normal people, may be thinking can my pc run windows 11 so the straightforward answer is that you know tpm 2.0 version was developed around 2014 so every laptop or pc you got uh, from 2014 15 above uh, that means your pc has that tpm 2.0 so if you have a laptop or a PC which uh, you bought like in 2010, 11, uh, there is a chance that your PC doesn't have the TPM 2.0 and you can't run Windows 11. And one more uh, little info, uh, you know, uh, people will find a way to bypass this, maybe. So, but officially talking, Windows 11 will require you to have a uh, TPM 2.0, also known as Trusted Platform Module. And uh, there is a confusion in BIOS too. In different BIOS, this thing called differently. I'll show you, don't worry. So that's that. Uh, and if you want to check Windows 11 compatibility for your PC, you can download the uh, application here uh, download app just click on it I will put link in the description for this you can go there and visit here and click on this so now uh, let's show you around first um, let me show you what it is called in my laptop okay let me record my laptop so this is my laptop BIOS and this is a Dell BIOS and this is a laptop. And one more thing I forgot to mention, if you have a laptop, you don't even have to go to the BIOS. If you have done changes in your BIOS, laptop BIOS, then uh, maybe by mistake you have turned off the TPM, then you will need to re-enable the TPM again. But most of the laptops uh, comes with TPM enabled. You don't have to enable it. This is a most common issue for only desktop users custom desktop users okay if you have built a custom pc there is a chance that tpm will be disabled and you have to enable it so i'm going to show you a variety of uh, bios and this is the dell bios and currently i own only dell and msi so i'll show you dell and msi and i'll also show you the example for other bios too so you can see this is my laptop and uh, the TPM is always under um, security, okay? You need to go to the security section in your BIOS settings. So just expand it just like that. And you can see, we can't see any option related to TPM because it is called differently in Dell BIOS, at least in my Dell uh, laptop. So you can see there is a PTT security this is actually the TPM on Dell BIOS. So yeah, you need to remember this. PTT is also similar to 
TPM. All right. So, yeah, it, it is called differently in uh, Dell BIOS. So uh, it is very confusing for new people. Uh, but uh, you can always do the Google search how to turn on TPM on Dell, maybe ASUS, maybe MSI, something like that. And you'll get uh, some kind of information. Right. And uh, this is what it is called in uh, Dell BIOS. It is called PTT, not TPM. So <laughs> it is very confusing. So this is how you turn on the uh, TPM on most of the Dell BIOS, all right? It is called PTT security. Yeah, so don't get confused with, uh, I don't have the TPM option in my BIOS. Sometime in some BIOS, it is called differently. So in Dell, it's PTT. And that's it for the uh, Dell BIOS. Let me show you another BIOS. I have taken some of the pictures from the internet, all right? So this is uh, another BIOS. Aorus, I think that's how it is called. All right, whatever, but this is some kind of BIOS, okay? Maybe gaming BIOS or something like that. So um, you always have to go under the settings and uh, it should always be under uh, the uh, security. So in this BIOS, you can see, uh, this is for AMD actually. And also, uh, even if you're running Intel, in different BIOS, it is called differently. So you can see it says trusted computing. So you have to click on that. So here you can enable the uh, TPM. So this is just a picture. I can't give you the demo, but uh, yeah, this is how you enable the TPM on another devices. And in this BIOS, it is called trusted computing. So you just click on that, enable it. So let's see another example here. We have the Asus BIOS. And also in here, uh, it says under, you can see it's under trusted computing. And once you click on the trusted computing, uh, you will land here and you will see TPM state and uh, you just enable it. So the most common name for the TPM in different BIOS is trusted computing. So now I'm going to turn off my this main PC and I'm going to enable the TPM. Uh, and hope uh, this will say that um, my PC can run Windows 11 after that. So let me turn off everything and see you in BIOS. All right, welcome to my main PC's BIOS. And this is actually the MSI BIOS, all right? And here uh, I'm gonna enable TPM, all right? So this is in easy mode. So you have to go to the advanced mode. So you'll have to find where the advanced mode is. So it's at the top there for me. If I press F7, it will take me to the advanced mode or I can just simply click on it. So this is the advanced mode. And here you can see there is the settings. I'm just gonna click on that. And here simply to enable TPM in my BIOS, I'm just gonna click on security. It's always under security so just click on security and here uh, you can see uh, in msi it is also called trusted computing so i'm gonna click on that again and it will say tpm selection and uh, security device support so it is disabled right now so i'm gonna click on that and i'm gonna enable this and i'm gonna save it so this is how you enable uh, TPM in MSI BIOS. Very cool, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna save it and see you in my uh, desktop. All right, welcome back. So we have successfully enabled the TPM uh, from our BIOS. So now it's time to check this option again. Can my PC run Windows 11? Let's find out. Yes, sir. Great news. Uh, this PC meets all the system requirements. So it's that simple. So yeah, that's it. This is how you fix this problem. And as I said earlier, if you have a laptop, there is a chance that you don't need to do anything like this. Uh, just in case if you have ever played with your BIOS 
in your laptop and you accidentally turned off the TPM then you may have to enable it again but uh, for the most of the laptops you don't need to do anything but custom PCs yes this is going to be a problem you'll have to go to the BIOS and enable the TPM manually and there is one more thing you can do if you run command windows plus r and type here tpm.msc you want to check what version of tpm you have just type that a tpm.msc and here you'll get the information you can see this uh, tpm version is 2.0 so that's it and this is little tip you can just uh, you can also go to the device manager and from there you can check but this is the shortcut and uh, the tpm is ready for use you can see and this is version 2.0 and uh, that's it maybe the older version of tpm will also get support uh, and uh, yeah so as of now this is how you enable the tpm from your bios and in different bios it is named differently uh, you know i'm talking too much but you got the point in dell laptops or pcs it could be called ptt and uh, in most of the bios uh, the, this tpm option should be under uh, trusted computing so it's it should be very easy to find so it's always under the security you just go to the bios and then go to settings and then under security you will find the tpm uh, option and you just sim simply enable it so that's it hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will put link in the description for the official website for the windows 11 from there you can check uh, the windows 11 and also get the pc health tool to check the compatibility of windows 11 for your pc and that's it Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.